Hello, I'm Jason Hall, Marine Product Manager at MCE. In this video, we'll discuss when to choose integrating a galvanic isolator versus an isolation transformer on your vessel. Your decision on which product is right for you will be based on factors like boat size, how you use your boat, type of protection you're looking for, weight considerations, and device cost. An isolation transformer physically separates the boat's electrical system from shore power, providing complete electrical isolation. It uses magnetic induction to transfer electrical power from shore to the boat without direct electrical contact, thereby eliminating the risk of electrical shock and providing stable, noise-free power. A galvanic isolator blocks low-voltage DC currents that cause galvanic corrosion between dissimilar metals on the boat and other boats connected to the same shore power grid. It is installed on the shore power grounding wire and allows AC fault current to pass through, but blocks galvanic DC currents preventing corrosion. Larger boats typically have more complex electrical systems and more sensitive electronics. They're also more likely to spend extended periods connected to shore power. For these reasons, an isolation transformer is often the better choice, offering a comprehensive protection against a wide range of electrical issues, including galvanic corrosion, electrical shocks, and voltage fluctuations. While a galvanic isolator can still be used on larger boats, it provides limited protection and might not be sufficient on its own. It can be used as an additional safeguard against galvanic corrosion, but won't offer the broader protection that an isolation transformer Smaller boats with simpler electrical systems might not require the extensive protection that an isolation transformer offers, especially if they spend less time connected to shore power. For smaller boats, where component weight is a factor, a galvanic isolator is often sufficient, especially if the primary concern is preventing galvanic corrosion. It's more cost-effective and space-saving option that provides the necessary protection without the need of a full isolation transformer. Boats that are used for extended cruising or as liveaboards often spend a lot of time connected to shore power in different marinas. These boats would benefit greatly from the comprehensive protection of an isolation transformer, which ensures safety and protects against varying shore power conditions. While still useful, a galvanic isolator alone may not be enough to protect the complex systems and sensitive electronics found on these types of boats though it can be used in conjunction with an isolation transformer for added protection. For day boats and weekend cruisers, these boats typically spend less time connected to shore power, so the need for an isolation transformer might be lower. However, if they have sensitive electronics or connect to shore power frequently, an isolation transformer could still be a worthwhile investment. For day boats and weekend cruisers that spend most of their time away from shore power, a galvanic isolator is often sufficient. It protects against corrosion without the need for the more comprehensive and expensive protection of an isolation transformer. Boats with a higher electrical load, such as those with multiple AC systems, large battery banks, or sophisticated electronics will benefit more from an isolation transformer. These types of vessels also have a higher chance of increased electrical leakage where a galvanic isolator may not be sufficient. Boats with simpler systems and lower electrical loads may find that a galvanic isolator is adequate for their needs. In environments where shore power quality is unreliable, an isolation transformer is highly recommended, regardless of boat size, to protect against potential power surges and voltage fluctuations. In modern marinas with well-maintained shore power systems, a galvanic isolator may be sufficient for galvanic protection, especially for smaller boats. Isolation transformers offer excellent protection for sensitive marine electronics by stabilizing voltage and filtering out electrical noise. This ensures that your navigation systems, radios, and other electronics operate without interference or risk of damage from shore power issues. While a galvanic isolator helps protect metal components from corrosion, it does not protect against voltage spikes or electrical noise that can damage sensitive electronics. Its primary function is corrosion. Isolation transformers are more expensive upfront due to the design and internal components, 
but it can save you money in the long run by preventing costly damage to your boat's electrical system and electronics. More affordable, providing basic protection against galvanic corrosion at a lower cost, galvanic isolators are ideal for boat owners looking for corrosion protection without the need for complete electrical isolation. Larger, complex boats with higher electrical demands generally benefit more from an isolation transformer due to the comprehensive protection it offers. Smaller boats or those with simpler systems may find a galvanic isolator to be adequate, especially if they're looking for a cost-effective solution focused just on preventing galvanic corrosion. The type of boat, its usage, and the environment in which it operates all play significant roles in determining whether an isolation transformer or galvanic isolator is the better choice. With NEC 555.35 being adopted at marinas across the United States, contacting a marine electrician to measure the electrical leakage on your vessel will help in determining the right product for you. Consider your boat's electrical load, the type of boat, and your typical usage to make the best choice. Thank you for joining us. For more detailed guidance and to explore the right solutions for your needs, contact the MCE Marine team at acpower.com.